Hello! Our today's element is shape. Shapes are widely and very creatively used in web design. Start by inserting a shape from the Add panel. Click on the blue Add icon to open the panel, then go down to the Shapes section. For the Shapes section, you see the gallery with shapes grouped by type. You see Basic, Thematic, Texture, Polymorphic Shapes, and lines isolated into a particular type. The first five shapes of the basic type differ from others as you can use them to place other elements like icons, texts, buttons, etc., converting them to boxes. Add the square shape with the rounded corners. You see it has the small blue plus icon, which means you can add elements to this shape. You can move shapes freely like all other elements. Align the shape to the center and middle of the block in the property panel to the right. In the editor, change the shape fill on the context toolbar. Also, modify the border by choosing its width and color. Click the chain link icon to open the link setting dialog. Like buttons and hyperlinks, you can link shapes to a page, web address, block, file, phone, email, modal pop-up, and post. Let's link the shape to nicepage.com. Choose web address and enter the address. Click Done to save the link settings. Go back to the shape properties in the property panel. You can lock and unlock the shape proportions by clicking on the lock icon. Unlock and resize the shape. Click on the color boxes of the shape styles to quickly apply the preset shape fills. Click on the gradient icon to quickly apply the gradient fill. Enable the shadow. You can quickly make the shape circle, rounded, or square. Or change the shape radius by dragging the slider or entering the value into the field. Make the shape rectangular again by pulling the resize marker. You can transform the shape to a 90-degree angle and flip it if needed. For example, you can revert your editing by clicking on the bordered shape style. Click on the small blue plus in the shape to add elements. Add the icon, text, and button elements to the shape. Please note, this converts the shape into a box. On the box's sidebar, there is the column's icon, allowing you to quickly convert the box to the grid repeater. Click on the icon and select the layout with three columns. In the new grid repeater, fine-tune the elements by changing the icons and texts. We have finished the lesson about the shape element. Subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Thank you for watching.